I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. And it's time once again to recommend things. Vince? Yeah. What do you recommend today? Today I'm recommending lanyards. Ooh, Go get I like them. lanyards. They can hold your keys. Sometimes they do things like, like that. Lanyards. Lanyards. Tell your friends. Indeed. All right, so what I'm actually recommending is what's on the lanyard. Oh. Now, you can always find these little guys, just buttons in general, just buttons, just little easily pressed buttons for about a buck at any, you know, any comic book store or geeky store, any kind. But these things... Some stores they sell for actually more than that, and they shouldn't. <laughs> like, yeah. sometimes you'll go to Hot Topic and they'll have like $3 buttons or something. But these things... And they're kind of the same. Don't go too close to the lens because it'll be pretty blurry. Yeah. These things are a little harder to find. Why? Because they're the uh, the cut out images of the characters. Now you go online, these things, uh, you, it seems to be inconsistent. They have no idea what they're worth. So you might be able to find these things for a dollar. You might be able to find these things for $20. <laughs> so then people are like, oh, that's a really cool looking pin. That has to be worth some money. I have no idea how much these things are worth. But, uh, like, I found a Rocketeer one going for 35 and I went, holy crap, I'll buy mine for a quarter. <laughs> so, uh, what I saw... I wonder if there's things, a book or anything on those. That's... I'd, I'd, I'd be glad... I'd be interested to know. Yeah. Because uh, I have some Punisher... That's funny that there's these, zero standard. Yeah, I, I have no idea. And I wonder if it's just that nobody else has any idea either. So, some people say pins are worth, worth nothing, and then somebody says... Well, I've never seen these before, thereby they have to be worth something, which yeah. is also faulty logic. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, sometimes they have to be worth something, sometimes they can't be worth anything, just based on uh, how many have been made. So I'm assuming you haven't spent more than you haven't spent more than four or five dollars for any of yours. No, I think uh, total for all the buttons on this, I spent six fifty. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you haven't spent more than like 50 cents on one. Yeah, well, uh, these ones at the top were a dollar each, but the, these ones were all a quarter each, so... That's funny. And some of these things were given to me, like uh, yeah. I have a... These pressed buttons were all given to me, except for the Superman Muscle Building Club button. That's funny. Because I just think that's really amusing. Superman Muscle Building Club. Yeah, this is eclectic. I think this thing is neat. And, no, this is nice. I, I enjoy it a lot. So uh, you can find these varying different etched pins, and uh, they they have like little raised pieces. They're all in the shapes of the characters. Sometimes they're in the shape of, of the text if there's no character. Uh, oh, I, mean, I like the Daredevil one a lot. Yeah, that one's a little bent up, but yeah, I enjoy it. It was only cool like worse, I had to get it. So uh, these things are like interesting keepsakes, and uh, they're not just some crappy little button that's going to fall apart in some in uh, in a couple of years. But uh, these things I like a lot. So <laughs> I even have Doctor Doom. <laughs> Doctor Doom. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I recommended things you can stab people with. Oh, okay. Well, I guess then I should also try to keep with the theme today and recommend something you could stab people with. And, you know, uh, I, I wish I had saved the one I did last week, because last week I did uh, this Batarang, and there, that's something you could stab people yeah. with. So I thought I would go with something at least equally dangerous, although it's not as sharp as this, as this Batarang. Uh, today is going to be more of a you'll so want this. I think yours is kind of like that, too. Um, today I'm going to show off... I don't think I've ever done this. I don't think so. Either. Um, today I'm going to show off uh, my size. These are actually Sarah's, but I bought these for Sarah back when we were dating. Um, these these real size, I love these. Um, there, there used to be this store in Lawrence, Kansas, where Vince and I used to live um, when we were going to school, and I forget what the place was called. It's not there anymore, unfortunately, but there's this place downtown. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? It was this store that they had a lot of weapons, and they had a lot of, like, Celtic stuff, and, like, uh, like, uh, I, I... They had a lot of incense. Incense was the word I was looking for. Thank you. Yeah. Did it close? Oh, yeah. Oh. It, it closed years ago. Like, like I think I bought these maybe a year or two before it finally shut down. Oh, okay. But anyway, uh, that anyway, that's where I got these. And um, so these are these are these are heavy. They're very weighted, and um, they're they're kind of these um, these kind of I don't know if you'd call these practice size because the the the, the ends are blunt I've, or, or somewhat blunt. I've kind of heard two schools of thought on that. I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about size. I buy things because they look cool. I don't necessarily always know anything about them. But anyway, I know that sometimes you have you have size that are like actually pointy. And then you have these kind of these kind of blunt ones, and um, I guess it somewhat depends on you know a or are you just practicing with them or actually heaven forbid using them to kill people or something, and b um, are you uh, are you using them as de defensive or offensive weapons? 
I mean, like, they, 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 they seem like kind of intrinsically offensive weapons, but I suppose I could kind of see the logic of using them defensively if they weren't pointy at the end. Um, I don't know, but anyway, Do so... Do you know what size were originally used for? I, I, I used to know this, but yeah, I, go ahead. Stick it in the ground, and you can loosen up the dirt for planting things. Yes, thank you. That's right. And and then and then of course you know sometimes you'll have like the shorter ones, and then these are the these are the very long tip ones. Like a lot of times you'll see size that kind of you know like that that long. Um, but anyway, I mostly bought these because Sarah was going to do an Electra costume a, a few years back, and uh, we never got around <laughs> to doing that. And so, so I do uh, something half-assed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I could have brought, bought prop size, but no, I was like, let's go for the real thing. So I got these. Um, they, they were, uh, I, I don't remember what I paid for these when I when I bought them, but, uh, and again, this was six or seven years ago now, um, but, I don't, you know, they were fairly inexpensive. I mean, it was... Yeah, it you was, can pick up a pair for 35 40 somewhere in there. Yeah, these were... These were probably around that. I don't remember. But anyway, um, and then, uh, not that I have anything to say about this, because I haven't personally read it, other than just kind of flipping through it a little bit, but I, we also have this uh, s this book, um, the, the Psy Karate Weapon of Self-Defense. See, even this book claims that it's a self-defense weapon, Vince, and not, not an offensive weapon. Um, Mostly intended for disarming, right? Yeah. What's what's uh, what's nice about this book, just, just flipping through it real quick, is that uh, it has a lot of tutorials with pictures. So um, you can learn how to do a lot of things just, you know, with pictures. And um, there's actually, like, more... Um, there's actually more pictures and tutorials than even text, really. Um, this is very much a, you know, learn, learn how to do it by looking at the pictures kind of thing. Um, it'd be interesting to see if anybody's put up any YouTube videos about how to use size. Oh, I'd almost bet money there. I, I, bet, I bet there would be. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so that's cool looking. Maybe at some point I'll actually you know, work with these and learn how to use them. That'd be cool. I have the book for it, Vince. Just, ooh, just a bunch <laughs> of just a bunch of YouTube videos of people sitting around going <sighs> I just got that. <laughs> anyway, that, that's all I have to say about that. Indeed. I enjoy it. I've thought about getting a pair of size myself. They're just neat. I think they're cool. They, they look, look cool on, on my wall. wall. Yep, indeed. Well everybody, thanks as always for watching to recommend things and we'll recommend something for you once again next week. I'm Captain Logan. And Vince. See you later.